Hello students, how are you? I hope you all are doing good. So today we will discuss about tense. Do you know what is tense? Today we will learn about it, okay? So basically tense is a way to show the time when an action happens. It helps us understand if something happened in the past is happening now or will happen in the future. So, from all of this, we have known that tense can be divided into three types, which are past tense, present tense, and future tense. And now, we will learn about simple present. So, the simple present tense is a way to talk about things that happen regularly or repeatedly, or things that are true in general. For example, I eat breakfast in the morning. So, what does simple present tense show? It tells us about things we usually do. Look at the picture. We do this every day. In the picture, a little girl is brushing her teeth. The sentence, I brush my teeth every morning, is a good example of simple present tense. Simple present tense is also used to talk about what we prefer or what we think. Children, what is your favorite food? I bet many of you enjoy eating ice cream, just like the girl in the picture. If we want to say what we like, the sentence, I like to eat ice cream would be just right. And that's a good example of the simple present tense. The simple present tense is also used to tell things that are always true. Look at the picture. You see the sun rising. We all know that the sun always rises in the east. It never rises in any other direction. So, the sentence, the sun rises in the east, is a great example of using the simple present tense. Now, Let's take a look at how we build sentences in a simple present tense. It's pretty much like any other sentence. Subject plus verb plus object. But here is the catch. We only have to use the base form of the verb, which means we keep it in its present form. Sometimes, though we have to add an S or ES to the verb, depending on the subject. When the subject is I, you, we, or they, we stick with the base form of the verb. For instance, when talking about myself, I say, I go to school every day. Similarly, when it's about others, like they work in the factory or we eat rice for dinner, we keep using that base form of the verb. We are talking about the third person like he or she. We add s or es to the verb to make it simple present tense. Can you find the verb in this example? In the sentence, he plays football. The verb is play. We added s because the subject is he. Similarly, in the sentence, she reads books every day. The verb is we added S after the verb we to make it simple present tense. Now, let's try a little exercise where you fill in the blanks. Children, your job is to figure out the right form of the verb for each sentence, okay? So, for the first question, what do you think is the right form of the verb what? Remember, when the subject is he or she, we add S or ES to the verb. Many of you might have guessed it right. Yes, we have to add S to the verb walk. So, the correct sentence is, she walks to school every day. Now, on to the second question. The verb is already in the brackets. Do we need to add anything to it? No, we don't. Why? Because the subject is we. As we have learned before, when the subject is I, you, or we, we just use the base form of the verb. There 
there is no need to add s or es to make it simple present tense lastly let's look at the third question the subject is in the third person singular number what do we need to do with the verb let's try it we ate as so the correct sentence is the sun sets in the west i think you all are understand well that's for today thank you students